Hello, everyone. It's Amanda Grace. I'm out here in the dark because I thought this would be a great um, teaching moment to show you how prophecy works. So we see in part and we speak in part. And so when we look ahead, we really don't maybe see much sometimes. But once the light of God and his wisdom shines, oh, look at that. I can say, well, there's a tree and it's got purplish leaves right now and it's got many branches. Oh, and it's about maybe 10, 15 feet high. Oh, and there's another tree and it's a little lower to the ground and it's got golden colored branches. And oh, if I look over here, oh, look at that. There's a couple of shrubs. Oh, and there's a little lawn ornament there, but I can't really see it without this. And without the light of God, I can't see what's in front of me. And this is why it's so important to have a close relationship with the Lord. Otherwise, you may find yourself in the dark a lot. And with the enemy and his devices, and us not, we cannot be ignorant of the enemy's devices. Uh, we need the wisdom of God, the light of God, and to hear his voice, know his voice, and as strangers, we will not follow. But when he shines, we can see what he's shining on. I might not be able to see right now to the left anything until the light of God moves and says, oh, look at that, there's a road down there, and there's many trees in that forest. And oh yes, here's that purple tree again. Oh, and let me get a little closer to that purple tree and pray and say, to the Lord and see what he can reveal about it because it's illuminating. God's wisdom is illuminating. You know, oh, and if I look back there, there's a white shed. Oh, there's a white shed back there now. Can't see the shed, but when the light of God and you hear his voice and it shines on it, you begin to see and be able to speak detail that you couldn't before. So I hope to everybody this is a great example of prophecy for all of you, a great visual. God bless everyone. Keep the faith. We love you.